Hey everybody, Ace Channel Liam here, and welcome back to another episode of Metromania. For those who don't know what it is, Metromania is an ongoing 16 Pokemon metronome only battle tournament to determine the Metromania champion, and this season is all about Mega Evolution. If you already know the deal and you're ready for more Metromania, make sure you hit the like button, show your appreciation for the series, and of course, if you are new, hit subscribe so you never miss an episode. The heats are over, we are moving on to the quarterfinals this week, so you know, go and catch up if you're not up to speed on what's been going on. It's been going on for eight weeks. We got plenty more in store, but before we get into the action, we need to have a look at the all important brackets. So here we see from last week, Lucario was victorious over Gallade. Mega Gallade, unfortunately, much like Gardevoir before it in this tournament, bows out of the competition in the first round. The wily Lucario was just a little bit too much for Gallade to handle and moves on to face Altaria in the fourth quarter final. But of course, we are only just at the beginning of the quarter final, so it's a few weeks before we'll see Lucario again. We need to find out who the first position in the semi-finals is going to be in quarter-final one. Is it going to be Mega Agron or is it going to be Mega Burnett who came out with an upset victory over Gardevoir in the second round of this competition? Will Agron be victorious? Will Burnett? Let's find out right now. So here we go, Mega Agron versus Mega Burnett for the first place in the semi-finals of Metromania Season 3. This is where the competition is really going to start heating up. This is going to be a fantastic battle. I wonder if Burnett can pull off another upset victory like it did against Gardevoir as Shiny Burnett start things off with a fiery dance. I mean, that is heating things up. So that is going to be a great start against the pure steel type Agron. That was a fantastic move with lots of damage and of course raises the special attack of that Burnett as well well. What a brilliant start for the Burnett team. How will regular Burnett follow up on that? It's going to go for Surf, which is going to hit everybody on the field, but it's it's not going to do a great deal of damage to anyone on the field, really, but it did get a critical hit on one of the Agron there, already bringing it down to less than half its max HP, so that's a dangerous area for this Mega Agron to be in. And we see a Fairy Wind, which doesn't do a great deal of damage, but a little bit of chip damage there as the Agron team starts things off. And here we see an Aqua Jet coming out from the regular Mega Agron there onto that Burnett for a decent amount of damage consider considering Aqua Jet standards. That was a decent amount of damage with this uh, big bruiser that is Mega Agron. We see a Thundershock coming out from regular Burnett onto regular Agron. Is it going to be enough for uh, Paralysis? It does not get the Paralysis as we see Shiny Burnett going to follow up with Retaliate which again is going to do um, oh it's not very effective because I just remembered that it's not a fighting type move. It's a normal type move. I get Reversal and Retaliate mixed up all the time. Don't worry it's a me problem. It's not a you problem. You don't have to worry about it. But you have to worry about this seed bomb coming out from Mega Agron onto Mega Burnett there for a decent chunk of its HP as well. That was a great seed bomb. You see the power advantage in this competition definitely goes to the Mega Agron team as Shiny Mega Agron uses Milk Drink and brings itself right back up to full HP. That was a fantastic play on the side of the Agron team because of course regular Agron is in a lot of danger right now. It's in a difficult position. And we see Curse coming out from the regular Burnett there, it's going to basically take a lot of its own HP off. Uh, yes, it uh, cuts down its own HP. My goodness. And is going to deal curse damage to the Agron team. That's fantastic. We see an Air Slash coming out from the uh, shiny Burnett there. Bringing Agron down to 1 HP, but hoping, hoping for the flinch there. You've got to imagine. Here's Shiny Mega Agron with a Flame Charge. Going to increase its speed on that. Uh, knocks out the Burnett that used Curse. That's a fantastic move there. And obviously getting the speed up. For, uh, for the Agron. That, that's fantastic. That was a fantastic play by Mega Agron there. And here comes regular Mega Agron with a return, but of course it doesn't affect the ghost type Burnett. But there's the curse damage. That's the danger. That curse damage is going to happen at the end of every turn, and it's very, very strong. My goodness. So time is limited for Shiny Mega Agron, but the regular Mega Agron is only on one hit point. As Burnett goes for the Torment, which means that um, that Mega Agron can't use Metronome on alternate turns. That's going to be difficult. We see a Boom Burst coming out, which won't affect Burnett, but will knock out the partner Agron that just got tormented. So now we're down to just one Agron and one Burnett, both the Shinies, but... Was that Boom Burst a good play? I don't know, because there's more of that curse damage. Oh my goodness. Can, this is what we were talking about with Burnett. It just finds ways to win. That's crazy. I mean, we can't count out Agron just yet, because one big power move would knock out this Burnett. But there's a super effective power-up punch, increasing the attack of this Burnett as well. Oh my goodness. 
Burnett actually really stands a good chance of doing well in this competition if it keeps up strategies like this. And there's clear smog though coming out from Agron. Smart play, lowering all those stat boosts that uh, Mega Burnett has had in this battle. Brilliant play there, but there's the curse damage closing in on Agron. Can Agron do something to take out this Burnett before the curse takes itself out? What's Burnett got in store? against this Agron. What's it going to do? It's going to go for Bubble. Will it be enough to knock out Mega Agron? Or will Mega Agron... It knocks out the Agron. Tur Round 1 goes to Burnett. I can't believe that. I'm very, very impressed by Burnett and I'm really excited to see how this battle plays out now. As we see everybody coming back out into the battle for Round 2. Oh my goodness. What will happen? Of course, the Burnett team is the faster team, so it will go first once again. But what have they got in store here? I'm going to go for Disable, but it fails because no move has been used yet. That's unfortunate. That's a slippery mistake for regular Burnett there. And Memento comes out from Shiny Mega Burnett. I, that's a bad move to use on turn one. Dropping the attack harshly and the special attack harshly of that regular Agron. Crippling it somewhat, but crippling your own team. Bowing out. I, I Honestly, at this stage, I would probably say this is Victory Agron in this particular round. Grass Pledge comes out from Shiny Mega Agron. I know we should never count a Pokemon out in a Metronome battle, but two Mega Agron versus one Mega Burnett. Leech Life coming out. Of course, that's not going to be very effective against the Ghost type, but it's still damage. And this Pokemon, this Burnett is still taking damage from two Agron each turn. You really need something up those big sleeves there, Burnett. What, what have you got in store? You're going to go for Taunt. Now, that's a good play. That means that Shiny Mega Agron cannot use um, Metronome. But it will use Struggle, which does hit Ghost types. So that's dangerous. Here's a Mud Shot, though, from uh, regular Mega Agron. Taking a little bit of chip damage, but also lowering the speed of Burnett. How will that factor in? There's the Metronome that can't be used after the Taunt. So buys Burnett some time, but will it be good enough? Because these Agron are angry. They Oh, we see a roar of time coming out. Again, risky play though. It will do decent damage for a not very effective move. But again, it's not very effective. And it means Burnett has to recharge next turn. This is not a good play by Burnett. There's the stockpile from regular Mega Agron. It's very smart. Increasing its defense and special defense one stage. Making it even harder for this B Burnett to deal out damage. Here's the struggle. Let's see how much it does from Shiny Mega Agron. See, that's a great amount of damage for a struggle. Burnett's really got to pull something magic out of its hat right now. What's it going to do? There's another struggle on the, on the turn because of the speed tie now. Because of that reduced speed on the Burnett. This is not good for Burnett right here. We see Bubble Beam coming out from the uh, regular Mega Agron. Although it does have its special attack lowered. It's not quite enough to take out Burnett. But Burnett has to recharge. The taunts wore off. So Agron, uh, Shiny Mega Agron couldn't use Metronome once again. What are you going to do, Burnett? You're on like one hit point. Goes for Slash. That's not going to be very effective. Not even going to scratch the surface of Mega Agron. Even with a crit. Oh my goodness, I, I think Agron has this here if it goes on the offensive. Aurora Beam, that's going to be a hit point. Mega Agron has tied this battle against Mega Burnett. Now Mega Burnett is in a dangerous position. Basically, it's got to do a complete repeat of Battle 1 if it wants to come out with a victory and go on to the semi-finals. This is dangerous territory. Mega Burnett is, is struggling. Ever since that first victory, got a little bit cocky, I guess. Feels like it's untouchable. Goes for extreme speed. It's not going to be very effective, but at least you're on the offensive, Burnett. What will happen in this battle? I have absolutely no idea. But it's back to... Oh, goes for Fisher, but it's avoided. That would have been a fantastic play by Burnett. So they're really trying to win this. They're really going for it in this round. Cotton Guard coming out. That's going to increase the defense. I believe drastically, isn't it? Or at least sharply. No, drastically on Shiny Mega Agron, making it somewhat unstoppable right now. Unless you use special attacks. Here's a steamroller coming out from regular Mega Agron onto the shiny Burnett. Not doing a great deal of damage, but certainly doing a decent amount of chip damage. The most damage we've seen in this particular turn, uh, this particular battle of the three. We see powder coming out from Burnett onto the shiny Mega Agron. So if it tries to use a fire type move, it's in for a nasty shock. And here we see a regular Mega Burnett. What's it got in store? It's going to go for a reflect, increasing the defense against physical moves. That's a smart play by the Burnett team right there. Oh my goodness, I need so much tea right now. This is I'm on the edge of my seat right now. What's going to happen? We see Sweet Scent to the evasiveness of the Burnett team is going to go down. So more guaranteed hits, which is not good 
for the Burnett team. They want to avoid as many hits from these hard-hitting Agron as possible. What will Shiny Mega Agron do here? What's it going to go for? Going to go for Rollout. Now, this is dangerous. This is dangerous. With the evasiveness dropped of the Bonettes, that's a very dangerous position to be in. They need to put a stop to this Rollout. Whether they knock out that Agron or they paralyze it or what, they need to do something. We see Surf coming out from Shiny Mega Bonette there. Going to damage its partner a little bit and do a little bit of damage to the, uh, the Agron team each there. But a spread move is not the kind of move you want right now. Icicle Spear is not very effective, but you need to hope that you can at least get five hits. Oh my goodness. Look how little damage that's doing. Two hit points per Icicle Spear. Oh my goodness. But you do get the four hits. Are you going to get five? No, you just get a... Is it a quadfector? I don't know. It's like a trifecta. I have no idea. I don't know words. Here we see Agron coming out with a Frenzy Plant. Now that is going to do quite a lot of damage, you would imagine. Although saying that Agron's not really that good with the special, special attacks. I'm thinking Frenzy Plant might be special, but correct me in the comments if not. That rollout doing even more damage on the second turn of it. You don't want to let it get to five turns, my dudes. Here's a Fire Fang, though. That is going to be super effective on Agron. Will they get the burn? They don't get a burn on it. That's unfortunate. What will Burnett do in response to its uh, its partner's Fire Fang? Goes Fusion Bolt. They're really going for some hard-hitting moves right now. But is it going to be enough? They're not targeting the shiny Agron, and that's their problem right now. That's the rollout user. Here's the third rollout we've seen. Is that enough to take out? Oh, it doesn't quite take out the uh, the Burnett there. But there's the recharge from the Frenzy Plant. But Burnett are on borrowed time if they don't put a stop to this rollout. We see Facade coming out. That's not going to be very effective at all. 10 damage to that uh, regular Mega Agron there. What will Burnett do? You need a one-hit KO move or something at this point. Goes for Lick. Again on the wrong Agron. You want to paralyze an Agron. Do the use the shiny Agron, man. It didn't even get the paralysis anyway, but here's Psychic Terrain coming out. The Agron team kind of know. They don't need to worry about any moves right now because the chances of Burnett winning this at this point with rollout in its fourth turn. I I am very worried for Burnett. I know I get told off by you guys when I count Pokemon out too early, but look at the situation. A rollout is happening this turn on a reduced evasiveness Burnett, who's using Coil instead of attacking. Oh my goodness. What's going to happen here? I mean, the defense rose, I guess that's a good thing, but... Here comes regular Mega Agron. What's it going to go for? It's going to go for Fire Pledge, so it's going to deal a little bit of damage. Putting Burnett in the danger zone of this fifth rollout. Oh, it is over, my friends. There goes Mega Burnett. I mean, you just can't fault rollout, can you? There we see your quarterfinal one winner is Mega Agron. Moves on to the semifinals. Well done to the dominant Agron team. For a split second there. I thought Burnett had a winning strategy. For a split second, a minute little microscopic second, I thought Burnett had an idea in mind and had a way to take down Agron. Like, it was busting out fire-type moves. It was using Curse, which is so much more effective when Ghost-types use it. It was using fine-type moves. And then in the next battle, it used Memento, and it all just went to shit. And Agron just was dominant as we've seen it be in previous in the previous episode it was in so not a great showing for Burnett in the end it started off strong and then absolutely bottled it so it kind of deserves to you know GTFO Agron moves on to the quarterfinal we don't know who it's going to be facing yet but we're going to find out next week did I say quarterfinal I meant semi-final because I don't want to have to edit that bit out. So we'll move on to next week where Salamence is going to take on Ampharos to determine who is going to be Mega Agron's opponent in the semi-finals. So look forward to that. But that's where I'm going to leave this episode of Metromania. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, of course, hit the like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button so you never miss an episode. If you'd like to support this channel like these lovely people down here do, you can pledge to my Patreon. It's patreon.com forward slash Ace Trainer Liam. But until next time, I'm Ace Trainer Liam. Keep on training.